JB is going to be forcing Americans who are trapped in rail, that place right there, they're, well, they're trapped in Gaza, uh, to sign a promissory note to repay all travel costs if they decide to be rescued by the U.S. government. Yeah. Is, how's it working for you guys? All of you, do you guys know how many, like almost 100% of Jewish people I've met hated DT, hated him so bad, okay, that they were willing to put this guy in office because they hated DT. And now they got a guy who's going to be charging them to be rescued because they decided to go dilly dally in the Middle East, in the middle of a war zone, all because they get to live there for free. Oh, we wanted to live here because it's free. We get everything paid for by foreign aid. How's that working out for you guys? Do you guys regret anything? Huh? All you, you guys, you guys here, uh, Ethan Klein, Ethan Klein is, uh, is a, a Jewish leftist, right? He's a, as a channel. And um, he has been a leftist forever. Uh, through in the wake of all this, he's now finding out that his fans don't like him. <laughs> they watch his show because he's a leftist, but they don't like him because he's a J. Yeah, he's just like, what the heck? What the heck? You know, how could you guys support this? <laughs> Freaking hilarious. Oh, man, it, it, I, I'm telling you, almost 100 percent of J's that I've met all hated Trump. And, and now they're but guys, you know what? Even though they're going to be charged for recovery, they, they got a lot of money. OK, I can assure you the J community has a lot of money. OK, they control printing of money in a lot of countries. OK, they have an infinite amount of money. They're going to be just fine. You can you know what? You can might as well just charge them for the entire um, uh, carrier fleet, the carrier fleet, charge them for all the diesel that they're going to be using to fly all the jet fuel that they're going to be flying. You know, if they got to use a sidewinder to go save them, bam, bill them that half a million dollars for that sidewinder. Huh? Yeah. They, they can afford it. They can afford it. Okay, this is how we're going to get our war funded. Yeah? The war that they want so badly. Okay? In a time when American and Israel's are relying on the government for support and protection, the U.S. Department of Consular Affairs Crisis Management Systems has left many American citizens hanging in the wind. Yeah, they did the same thing in Afghanistan. You guys didn't say anything about it then. Oh, why? Because those are, those are Islamists that were left behind? Is that what it is? You guys don't care about those guys, right? What about the guy? What about everyone who's left behind in Russia and Ukraine? Did we care about them? No, we didn't, right? Because they're Christians. We don't care about Christians either. But these guys... These guys are something else. They are special, right? They deserve uh, paid for tax, tax, taxpayer funded, paid for uh, rescue operations into the middle of the Gaza Strip to save them. Yeah, because uh, everyone else doesn't matter but them, right? Uh, anyways, uh, Biden and admins de demanding them sign a promissory note as a precaution for any assistance in evacuating them from the crisis hit region. Wow. Can you imagine them getting billed like millions of dollars? This isn't, they're not sending in a freaking jet blue plane to go like pick them up. Okay. You, we need to send troops in there and all their wages and all their benefits have to be paid for. Okay. Yeah. This is not free. Okay. The so-called assistance departure options were outlined in an email to American citizens stranded in the Middle East nation, stating that the U.S. government would offer loans for transportation. Look at that. The JV regime's assistance to Americans wishing to depart Israel will come at a financial cost. Specifically, the email states that departure assistance is provided via a loan from the U.S. government, which requires travelers to sign a promissory note and agree to repay prior to departure. Now. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's hilarious to me. U.S. State Department tells citizens stuck in Israel it may help them evacuate, but only if they sign a promissory note. That's hilarious. That's some good stuff, man. The communication manager at the American Accountability Foundation, Yitz Friedman, shared a harrowing tale of his experience while trapped in Israel, living off of foreign aid for free. Uh, I'm not going to read the rest. It's just stupid. Oh my God, we're such victims. Help us. Give us money. Yeah. The communication manager at the American Economy of the Park. Friedman brought in light the abysmal failure of the U.S. State Department. Friedman and his wife found themselves trapped in Israel after their original flight back to the U.S. was canceled. When they reached out to the U.S. Embassy for assistance, Friedman recounts that they were basically told to pound sand. <laughs> oh, that's great. Everyone's laughing at you guys. You guys not only rigged the rig 2020 to get rid of DT because you didn't want peace. You wanted power. Okay, DT brokered peace treaties between Israel and three Islamic countries in October of 2020. You guys didn't want that though. You guys were mad that, oh, we don't get to blow these guys up. We want blood, 
right? And not, and then what did you do? You, you, you printed ballots, you got rid of DT, and now you got a guy that's billing you. And rightfully so, you guys got plenty of money. You guys can afford it, come on. Socialism, you guys wanted socialism, right? Yeah, socialism, hey, you hear that? It's all the little Jesuit kids cheering for socialism. They love it, right? The people with a lot of money pay to get back to the Amer to America. Meanwhile, their basketball player, which doesn't have nearly as much as you do, she only has like 10 million, 20 million, whatever. Doesn't make that much money. Uh, she gets a, a ride home for free, right? Yeah, because he's a troon. This is not the first time Biden admin uh, has abandoned his citizens. Yeah, we know about all the other ones, except, you know, you guys don't, you guys didn't care about these guys when they get dumped, you know? You guys are just like, oh, yeah, they're not Jews, it's fine. But now you do care because your bosses are telling you to, right? Your Zionist masters are telling you, you need to write articles to get these guys back, right? Look at that. Good Lord. Anyways, that's, that's just a hilarious predicament to me.